So are you considering picking up an Android tablet so that you can use active tracking on the DJ Mini 2 with the new SDK and the Lychee app? Well then there's two crucial things you need to be aware of when you're looking at purchasing an Android tablet. And I've also got a really good resource which will help you find out and decide which one's best and which one you should purchase. Let's jump right in. Hey guys, I wanna help you get the most from your drone. So make sure to hit that like, subscribe, and notification button so you don't miss any of my upcoming tips, tricks, and tutorials videos to help you level up your drone game. Today I'm gonna to share two things you need to be aware of whenever you're looking at buying an Android tablet, and also a really good resource which will help you find out and decide which is the best for your money that you should go out and buy. Now unfortunately, the new SDK, which allows active tracking, via the Lychee app is only available on Android devices. The iOS SDK, which will allow this, there's no date set for that yet. Now I'm an avid iOS user. I have an iPhone, I have an iPad, and it's what I've always used on my DJI products. It's what I've used to fly my drone. But I wanna try out the active track. So I have had to go down this journey of purchasing an Android device. And in doing so, I found two crucial things that you should be aware of that you might not know when deciding to buy an Android tablet. And also, like I've said, a really good resource to help you decide which one to buy. So first let's talk about two potential problems you need to watch out for when purchasing an Android tablet to fly your DJI Mini 2. Does the tablet have GPS? Some Android tablets do not come with GPS. So why is GPS important when you're flying your DJI drone? Well, the GPS can be used to set your home point to your current location. What that means is if you move away from where you originally took your drone off and you want to update your home point so that the drone will come back to, to where you are now standing or where you have moved to, this is only possible if your tablet has GPS. That's how the tablet knows where it is to set that home point. This is especially handy if you're on a moving object. So if you're on a boat, for example, then you will need to be continually updating that return to home point so that the drone comes back to you and doesn't land somewhere out at sea. And to be able to do that, as mentioned, you will need GPS on your drone. So how does the drone know where to return home to if your tablet doesn't have GPS? Well, it uses the drone's GPS. Whenever you initially take your drone off, it logs the point it's took off from, and that will be the return to home point for the duration of the flight unless it's been updated. So if you stand in one position quite a lot, having an Android tablet with GPS isn't gonna be an issue because that return to home point is never gonna change. However, if you move around a lot and if you're buying an Android tablet to test out active tracking, then I presume you are going to be moving a lot. You're going to be walking with the drone active tracking you or you're gonna be driving with the drone active tracking you, riding a bike with the drone active tracking you, etc then you're probably going to want to be able to update that return to home point because if you ride your bike half a mile away and you lose signal for whatever reason you don't want your drone to fly all the way back to where you took off from you want to be able to update that home point so the gps may or may not be important to you but i wanted you to be aware of it because it's something that i wasn't aware of so if you think that you want to be able to update that home point then make sure to get an Android tablet with GPS. Wi-Fi only tablets have two drawbacks. If you go out with a Wi-Fi only Android tablet and have no connection to the internet, the maps on your DJI Fly app will not load. Now this is something you might not be aware of because if you fly all the time with a phone like me, you always have 4G or 5G connection. So you're always connected to the internet and the maps always load fine. But if you buy a Wi-Fi only tablet and you go out on location and have no connection to the internet, the maps will not load. Now this might be something that is critically important to you, or it might be something that doesn't matter at all. Now, there are a few ways around this if you buy a Wi-Fi only Android tablet. Firstly, you could make your phone a hotspot and then connect your tablet to your phone and use the 4G or 5G internet from your mobile. Or I believe, and I haven't tested this, that when you're at home with the Wi-Fi tablet, if you fire up the Fly app, and put the map in the location you'll be flying. Download the map, it will cache to the app, so that then when you go out onto location, the map will be already preloaded in and you can use it. Like I say, I haven't tested that, but I've read online that that is possible. Secondly, and maybe more obviously, you can't do firmware updates because you're not gonna have internet connection. Now you should always do your controller and drone firmware updates at home, but sometimes you get caught out. Sometimes you just need to grab your drone and go and you've maybe missed a firmware update. And if you're out in location with your mobile 
and you get a firmware update. Usually you can do it on location with your 4G or 5G connection pretty quickly. But if you've got a Wi-Fi only tablet and you're not connected to the internet, obviously you won't be able to do a firmware update. Now again, this is something that may or may not matter to you. If you travel a lot and don't really have much time back at home to download your firmware updates and need to do it on location through a cellular network, then that's maybe something you need to think about. Otherwise, if you're always at home, always updating your drones at home, it's not gonna be that big of an issue. And again, you could probably work around this by connecting your tablet to your mobile's hotspot and doing the firmware update that way. But again, something to be aware of if you're buying a Wi-Fi only Android tablet. So how do you know which Android tablet is best and which one you should buy? So when I was looking to buy an Android tablet and I specifically wanted a tablet, I already have a phone. I didn't want another Android phone and I wanted to take the opportunity to get a bigger screen. I have the iPhone 13 mini and sometimes the screen is a little bit too small when flying. So I wanted to take this opportunity when buying an Android device to buy a tablet which has a bigger screen. And I came across this really, really useful resource online from Phantom Help. Now I'll link this resource down below. If you're in the market for an Android tablet, it's really worth checking out. And what it is, is a table of all devices and their specs. More importantly, it shows you if the device works with the DJI Go or DJI Fly app. Now obviously we're looking at the DJI Fly app because that's what works with the Mini 2. But some Android tablets do not work or have glitches and bugs with the DJI Fly app. Now I know for the active tracking, you're gonna be using the Lightshe app, but if you're gonna buy an Android tablet, you probably want to make sure that the official DJI Fly app works on it as well. And as mentioned, doing my research, I came across literally hundreds of forum posts online of people who have bought different Android tablets only to find out that the DJI Fly app wouldn't work on it or was incompatible with it, or they would load it up and it would just have a black screen. Lots of issues like this. So you can see on this table if it's gonna work with them apps and that's obviously a good place to start. Then you can also see if it has GPS. So again, as mentioned earlier, early, so again, as mentioned earlier in this video, if GPS is something you want in your Android tablet, then you can see on this table if it has it. Then you have a likes column. And this is where people have liked this specific tablet. And this is useful because obviously a tablet which has a large amount of likes is obviously a tablet that drone flyers recommend and so you want to be looking at the tablets which have a high amount of likes and lastly and probably one of the best bits of this table is there's a discussion box next to each tablet that if you can click into it you can see what other people are saying about this tablet so you can see if there's any recent issues with the tablet you can see people discussing the performance of the tablet and you can see people just talking about how the tablet works in general with drone flying and so you can quickly find out if this tablet is one you should be buying for flying your dji mini 2. this is a really good resource and i've linked it in the description down below now there's a few essentials that you also need to pick up at the same time if you're buying an Android tablet to fly your DJI Mini 2. You wanna buy these at the time when buying your tablet so that when your tablet comes, you aren't left disappointed and not being able to use it that same day because you need these two accessories to make it work best. The first is you need an adapter for your remote controller. The remote controller is set up for mobiles and small tablets. So if you've bought a eight or 10 inch tablet, a larger tablet, you're gonna need an adapter that allows you to mount it to your controller. Now there's a range of these available online. If you look on Amazon, you'll see literally hundreds. Some put the tablet above the controller and some put the tablet on top of the controller. It really has preference, but I've linked a few in the description down below that you can go and check out. The second thing you're gonna need is a longer cable. The cables which attach the controller to your mobile or tablet are not long enough that come with the DJI Mini 2. So you're gonna need a longer one so you can attach that tablet to your controller. Again, Amazon has hundreds of these and I've linked a few in the description down below if you just want an easy way to go and pick one up. So hopefully this video helps you if you're in the market for an Android tablet to be able to try active tracking on the DJI Mini 2. I've linked the table mentioned where you can see which Android tablet is best in the description down below and I highly recommend checking it out. Now before you go, if you haven't hit that like, subscribe and notification button, I really recommend you do because Every week I provide drone tips, tricks and tutorials videos to help you level up your drone game. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.